This YouTube video is brought to you by Retorto Family Books. Check out www.retortofamilybooks where you can find books written by your host, Mark Retorto, including The Cabal, The Saga Begins, and Mark is the Vampire, as well as books written by his daughter, Christina Retorto, including Invisible Girl and A Little Bit Louder. All right, guys, so today we're going to go over Chapter 2, Reconnaissance, Information Gathering for Ethical Hacking, go over these questions. All right, you're attempting to find out an operating system, MCP type of systems in your target organization. The NS every one of for lookup is named AD. DNS underscore server and target machine you want information on is a target <laughs> underscore system. Which of the following is the NS local commands the best choice for discovering this information? All right, so A. Could have done it totally different, but the answer is the answer for this question would be A. Search, specifying the surname, type info, and the name of the target symbol. All right, so the answer would be A. Let's go to the next question. Pen testing member sends an email to an address she knows is not a valid organization. Which of the following best explains why she took this action? To possibly gather information about an internal hosts used in the organization's email system. To the start of the normal service attack, they determine emails, generators, contact information, to gather information about how email systems deal with invalid email addresses. Well, she already knows that's an invalid email system. I'm going to go with A. And the answer is A. Gather information about internal hosts. Using the organization's email system. Okay, let's go on to the next question. The reason for that would be because you can use the header to find out information. All right. From the partial email header below, which of the following represents the true originator of the email message? So let's see your answer choices. A, B, C, or D. Okay, so for this one, so let's see what the question is. They want to know from the email header, which is, they want to know who sent the email. You from from mail sends from mail server for user. I'm going to say 217. Let's see if I'm right. So that answer should be C. The correct answer is C. So you're going to be looking at this information here. Receive from some one computer. All right, let's go on to the next question. Make sure go up a little bit. You are looking for pages with the terms CHNBT 
version 10 in their title, which Google hack is the appropriate one. So we'll definitely have in title. I'm going to say B. The answer is B. So it would be B. All in title, this one right here. All right, number five, you are on a Cisco router, one identified a path, the packet travels to a specific IP. Which of the following is the best command for this? I would say trace route or tracer or something. Uh, a little rusty on Cisco. And I know it's different between Linux and Windows. I'm gonna say D, and the answer is D, trace route. It'll be number D right here. Which of the following activities are not considered passive footprinting? Well, dumpster diving is, viewing financial sites is, looking for links within the company's website is, employing passive sniffing, choosing two. So I would say. Definitely D is not passive from printing. Uh, and obviously C, so let's see. The answer is D and E. I don't know. D and E. That's funny, they had the, <laughs> the have seats listed here twice. So it would be D and in this case C. Well, that's really supposed to be D and E. How funny is that? They, they had the typo in the book here. Um, okay. Let's go to the next one. Examining the following command sequence. Let's look up, this is the DNS server. Here's the address. And if we want to get some server resolved, uh, any biz, some server, any biz, blah, 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 which should be following best to describe the attempt and command. Attempting DNS poisoning. Uh, well, he's not enumerating the system. He's not doing DNS poisoning. He's not doing his zone transfer. I'm going to say D. Oh, the answer is A. Wow. They're saying that A is the answer. I don't get it. Let's understand that. Let's see if we get an explanation on that. They're saying it is A because The HIN info record is one of those great ideas that are designed to make life easier. But it's designed to provide a type of computer and operating system the hosts used back in the day. Really? 
type of record is not used that much anymore. All right, so they're saying it because it's got that HI info record in there that it's being trying to find the, uh, they're trying to enumerate the system. Okay, let's try the next question. The organization has a DNS server located in a DMZ zone and other DNS servers located in another instrument. This would be a split into split DNS. So the answer to that would be C. Yes. So what you try to do is hide your real information from about your internal network from that what's in the DMZ, which would be exposed to the internet. So that's what the answer is C. You're setting up a DNS server for your enterprise. Server A is both a web server and FTP server. You want to advertise both services or this machine has name references for your customer news, which would you type over with confidential? I'm going to say C name, which is used for aliases. Let me see if I'm right. The answer is C name. Yes, because you can set that like FTP.server name or www for the web server. Um, let's check out the next answer. The company has a public facing web application. Its internal instrument facing servers are separated and protected by a firewall. Which of the following choices would be helpful in enumerating? I mean, helpful in protecting against unwanted enumeration. Definitely not um, zone transfers any. Ensuring that there are no A records for internal hosts on a public domain facing this. Uh, a records and internal hosts that might help changing the preference to zero. Not allowing any DNS server to query the public facing name. Ooh. As a public facing web application, say that they have anything in the servers on the public facing record. That's a good one, man. Querying in the public name server is not going to do anything. I'm going to say, um, is it going to be A or B? Well, allowing, they're saying they're not allowing, saying allowing, so A would be wrong too, so I'm saying B. B from right. The answer is B. Ensuring that there are no name records or internal hosts on a public facing name server. All right. An ethical hacker searches for IP ranges known by the client reads newspaper articles, observes when the bank employees arrive, leave from work, searches the client's post, job postings, and visits the client's dumpster. Which of the following is a true statement? All of the actions are active footprinting. Uh, no, that's definitely wrong. All the actions are passive footprinting. Oops, No, well, it's definitely not a black hacker because that's a hacker. Would it be a black hacker? And he's not doing any attacking. I'm gonna say the answer is B. The answer is B. Yeah, 
none of those are active for punching techniques. And he's just finding out information, he's not doing an attack. All right, number 12, examine the SOA record. If it is secondary server and enterprise is unable to check for his own update within an hour, what happens to his own copy on a secondary server? For an hour, it would refresh. No. no copies unchanged. What's the other option? Copies dumped. Is unable to check. Number on the zone copy. I'm going to guess the serial number of the zone copy is implemented. But let's see if I'm right. I'm probably wrong on that one. The answer is B. Zone copy is unchanged. Interesting. You need to know a lot for this test. Which protocol and port number is a combination used for DNS zone transfers? It's TCP definitely, and definitely 53, so the answer is C. Okay. Examine. Following command line entry. This has something to do with, with uh, mail. I'm going to say it's C. Oh, choose two. It's B and C. <laughs> I didn't read the question right. So the answer is NS lookup and C. Somewhere I'll show all the name servers. That's my bad. I didn't read the question right. All right, I got to go up a little bit. Joe accesses just the company website, blah, 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 from his home computer and is presented with a deep face site containing disturbing images. He calls the IT department to report the website hack and is told they do not see a problem on the website. No files have been changed and when accessed from the terminals inside the company, the site appears normal. Joe connects over the VPN website and notices that the site appears normal, which the file might explain the issue. It's going to be A. DNS poisoning. And well, it could be R. No, I don't think it could be R poisoning. We'll check. Yep, DNS poisoning. Okay. The reason why it wouldn't be R poisoning is it's inside. It only affects something inside of something outside, so that's right. Okay, one way to mitigate DNS poisoning is to restrict or limit the amount of time records stayed in cache before they are updated. Which DNS record allows you to set this type of restriction? Well, it has nothing to do with MX, that's mail, a C name has to do with aliases. Even an authority. That might be it. NS has to do with name server, PTRs to reverse lookups. I'm gonna guess E. See if I'm right. The answer is E. SOA records hold all sorts of information when it comes to DNS poisoning. TTL is of primary interest. The shorter the TTL time, the less time the records are held in cache. Well, it doesn't eliminate DNS poisoning altogether. It can limit the process. I mean, the problems of uh, a successful cash poisoning attack can it cause. All right, which of the following is would be a security security concern for organization? Internal attack uses private address. 
internal server. Internal DNS servers active directory. Getting created. Oh, name resolution requests are accomplished by response B. I would say B. The answer is B. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be using external servers with your active directory environment. Which no following is a good footprinting for tool for discovering information on publicly traded companies. Um Founding history and financial status. I'm guessing the database one, I have no idea what that one would be. The answer is the Edgar database, I guess on that one. What method does TraceRoute use to map routes travel by packet? For carrying hello packets in the payload, forcing the host to respond. Being these queries that, that's not needed. I, th I was going to say C, manipulating the time to look parameter. Answer is C. This is the answer. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oops. Almost done. The zone file consists of which records? Choose all that apply. PTR, which is reverse. The zone just for reverse lookup, so that's not it. So it would be MX, wouldn't be SN, and it would be SOA. So it would be B, D, and A. Check the answer. One here. I think I skipped one, but we'll go back to this. Yeah, it's the same. A, a zone file. PTR, you're saying A, B, D, and F. I don't agree with A. That's not a resource record, that's a separate zone file. All right, so I think I did miss one, so we'll go back for one question. Right as auditing organization is asked to provide suggestions for improving DNS security, which would the following would be valid options. Definitely A. Definitely B. Blocking wall access to port 53. Uh, I wouldn't block access because then it wouldn't work. And I wouldn't do this because you need redundancy. I'm going to say A and B. Okay. Let's see what they say. Yep, A and B. All right, let's go to the next question. Which within the OSR framework, which tool verifies the username profile exists up to? I don't know, I know that one. This is going to go right to the answer. Uh, according to this one, the answer is D. Never heard of that tool. 
thought of yesterday. I gotta add it to my memory now. Colleague and there's the following in a Google search. This right here. What are they trying to find? And title and the URL. You know, it's definitely not B or A or B. Okay. Uh, I don't care about fintech finance. I would say this, but it doesn't say you well, it says in text. Oh, and in URL, so let's go back. Let's see if I'm right. The answer is D. Oh, I didn't see that. I read that wrong. So the answer is D. I didn't see that finance in the text. All right, 24, Mano Works. This is Senior Security Analyst over here and colleague discussing confidential corporate information being posted to an install website. When a question about it, claims that I bought the boat, we tried random URLs on the counter. Is it the same URL? Or can I see past? If you want to see past websites, go to darchive.org. That one, right? Right, let's double check. Yes. Now let's go 25. I think this might be the last one. Which the following is a primary service of this US security computer security incident response team. By security surveillance. Definitely not D. I'm guessing A. I have no idea. The answer is A. I guessed it right. And there's 26 questions, so we got one more left. Your client's business, it's headquartered in Japan, which region is really best place to look for footprinting information. And according to the answer keys, I cheated. It would be A, A, P, and I, C. All right, guys, we'll finish up another day with the next set of questions.